Hey y'all, so I'm here with a Dollar General haul. Um, happy Tuesday, but it doesn't seem like Tuesday. It feels like it's another Monday and it's been so freaking slow all day long, all day Monday. And me and my coworkers are just like, what's going on? Which our work's been slow here lately this week, which I'm not complaining, but a slow day makes for a long day. So we've had like a long day for Monday and Tuesday, but um, there's no overtime Friday. So I might work at the nursing home Friday. I don't know yet. Depends on if I can get in. Cause they've been like, they're doing like home workers at the nursing home versus like they used to have like, like a different company that would come in there. And so now they're trying to just work all like in-house um, people at the nursing home, which I am in-house but the ones that do full-time they normally like you know pick up all the like day shifts or whatever so hopefully i can get in friday if not then i'll just do it some other time anyway so i have a dollar general haul this dollar general haul ain't nothing special it's just a bunch of like grocery things here and there and some cat and dog food but figured i'd show you why not right so this week Katie's gone. She went to um, the beach in Florida. And then Justice is gone. He went to um, Washington, D.C. So it's just Gracie and Isaiah at the house. So I just picked up a few things. So I got these noodles. These things have went up to $1.65, okay, for three of them. It's a cup of noodles. And then the bag of noodles that you can get at the Dollar Tree that used to be a dollar, but now it's a dollar twenty-five. They're a dollar fifty here. I'm like, I'm not paying that extra quarter for that. Just didn't do it. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> and then I got some angel hair. I'm gonna make some like angel hair, angel hair Alfredo. I know it just sounds good. So I got these, and then I also got some roasted garlic um, Alfredo sauce. And this looked interesting. This is by, um, how do you pronounce this? Vigo Classic Cilantro Lime Rice. That just sounds like really good to do tacos with some night or whatever. And that was only a dollar. But the cost of things are freaking horrible. And I, I just came to the dollar store because it's faster for me. Like, I mean, I could go to Kroger too, but you have to fight the crowd and everything. So. I just came here. I was like, whatever. You know what I mean, guys? My mouth's doing better. Yesterday, my teeth were sore. Like, very sore. Like, right up in here was, like, really sore. But today, it's not as bad. Um, I've had a little bit of headache. And then over here, this, t uh, where they pulled it, it's still kind of sensitive or whatever. But I'm doing better, thank God. Um, I got some of these Apple Jack cereal for the kids. And then I got two. They they had these four. I think it was four for four, I think. But they're normally $1.25. But I got these just for something quick. It's the Ham and Cheddar Lunchables. Got two of those. And I also got, these ones are good. Which these are too. But the mozzarella and pepperoni ones, these are delightful. Okay. Like those. Oh, and I got some Parmesan, shredded Parmesan cheese. They only had the great value, or the clover value, not great value, great values Walmart, but they only had this brand. So I had to go with this brand to put on that angel hair pasta that I'm going to make. I ain't going to make it tonight, probably make it tomorrow. I don't know. So I got that. What else did we get here, friends? Oh God, there's my bread. I couldn't find my bread. I'm like, it's going to get smushed. I looked for it and I was like, forget it. Got in the car, I was like, I'll find it when I do the haul. But I just got this cheap Clover Valley bread. I think this was like a dollar fifty, dollar sixty-five, something like that. Maybe a little bit cheaper. I don't know, but it was in that price range. We'll put my bread right here, friend. Um also got some fudge rounds. These were, I think, two for five, I do believe. Got some honey buns. Y'all, have y'all ever ate honey bun and cheese? Which I've talked about it time and time again. But if you haven't, please do. It's amazing. You put your piece of cheese on here, put it in the microwave, and it is on point. Just saying. So, 
so I got that. And for work tomorrow and Thursday, I'm gonna make bologna sandwiches because it's something fast and easy. I don't have to worry about like, you know, cooking something. I don't know if I have, if I do that angel pasta tomorrow, I might take some of that to work tomorrow or the next day for Thursday. Got some sharp cheddar Velveeta sliced cheese. I got a thing of the evaporated milk for the pasta. And then, y'all, this is like all over the place. I'm sorry, but mama's tired, okay? Mama's tired. Um, I got these. So, the name brand, like Velveeta ones were, I think, crap, how much were they? Five or six dollars, somewhere in that price range. Clover Valley shells were four, I think. Yeah, four dollars. So, I just got these, something fast for them to make because I ain't gonna lie here lately like I just pick something up for like them to eat or whatever I don't cook that much here lately because by the time I cook it and we have all the leftovers my kids don't eat a whole lot of leftovers I eat leftovers um I mean they do but they don't so most of the food gets thrown out so I get off of work and I typically just get something fast food um which I mean, in my case, it's a lot, it's easier for me because I don't get off of work to 4.15. I think I do what, I, like I have to do what I gotta do because typically if I sit and cook, I normally don't get all that crap, you know, cleaned up, put away, get a shower until late at night. So sometimes mom ain't about that business, you know? So, and don't get me wrong, I do like to cook. I do like doing that. But here lately, it's just been one of those fast things. And all the kids are like two of them are working sometimes and i just have like one or two at the house in the afternoons until they come home late at night so it don't really pay me to cook a big meal so y'all get it if you have older kids and all that kind of stuff uh strawberry watermelon hydrate pure kick this stuff's amazing if y'all haven't tried this please do it's a dollar and it's like you know electrolytes summer's coming we need that And then they had, um, my watch is talking to me. They had this for a dollar. It smells really good. I think it's like a dupe for Suavitel or something. Um, and it don't say the, the brand, but it's, I don't know, it's this. It smells really good. So for a dollar for this softener, can't beat that. Okay, friends. Um, I already have toilet paper at the house from like, the dollar tree like the big five dollar thing that i got so just to have backups because with boys honey i'm telling you with boys they go like i told y'all they go through so much toilet paper compared to girls okay i don't know what it is but they do does it like do y'all agree with me with that so this is just the the real cheap old dollar you get two four six rows for a dollar this is going to be put back run out of toilet paper we've got it because I don't like to run out of toilet paper. And there's been times at my house when the, the boys will go to my bedroom and get my toilet paper out of my bathroom and take to their bathroom because they ran out and I'm like, dude. So I like to have extra toilet paper, okay? So I got two of those. And I'm like, every time I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. Toilet paper's already almost gone it that's one thing that gets on my nerves so bad i'm like how do they use so much toilet paper like how 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 so it's the toilet paper and the freaking phone chargers they always disappear always 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 um some more cheap cat food i know it's cheap but stuff's expensive y'all um and again i didn't i should have went to walmart and got it but i didn't i went to walmart but i didn't take the time to get daggum cat food and dog food so this is just the heartland uh seafood melody or medley it's got salmon shrimp tuna and crab in it this was like 4.95 i think for this they like this my cats like this and then opal likes this stuff this was like 5.99 for this teeny tiny little bag it's the kibbles and bits she loves this stuff loves it so i got that what else did i get oh 
Also got some paper towels. These were like, a, let's see, I think $2.85 for three rolls. And then, cause we're out of those, I got a gallon of whole milk, um, like the dollar store brand. And then I got these chips. These were $10.95 for these little doodaddies. But my kids like them, so I got those. Um, yeah, but anyways, that is my Dollar, dollar Gentral haul. Um, I know it's not exciting, but you know, I figured I could chat with y'all for a minute. I do have a video I need to upload of Opal with her bark box that I had uploaded like two days ago. And um, I do need to do a Timu haul. I do need to do a couple of reviews, but I've just not had time to do it, nor have I felt like doing it because, you know, that crap was going on. And let me just tell y'all, that was rough, honey. That was freaking rough. Um, I know those of you that, you know, say that I complain too much, I probably do, but I'm just being real and I have every right to speak how I feel. This is my channel and, but it was rough. It was freaking rough. Especially when you're like, in my case, I'm single. I don't have a partner. So I kind of juggle, try to juggle everything. And like my kids help me and stuff, but still you don't have that other companion to like lean on when you're going through things. So that kind of bared with me for a little bit, but every time I get sick, I do that. And plus I miss my mom when I do that. Um, so starting out was pretty rough, but I made it and my, my mouth's getting better. I still have to be careful when I eat on this side because over here, um, you know, it's still, they didn't like um, sew this up or anything, stitch or stitch it up, I should say. Um, so it's still kind of like closing. It's not completely closed. So I have to watch what I eat on this side. And over here is not as sensitive, so. The things we go through in life. I read this thing on, on Facebook and um, I will put it, um, I'll actually put it on my, if I don't forget, I'll put it on my, like the wallpaper thing or what do you call that? You know, when you upload the video, I don't know, but I'll put it on there. But it was talking about, um, like we came in this world naked, we die. Um, how did that go? It's like, I don't even want to like misquote it, but it's talking about how we came into this world like naked and like we'll die out of here naked and like talking about like as a baby, you have to get washed. When you die, you have to get washed by someone. Um, it's talking about like not taking like material things with you. And it's talking about like, you know, love and a mean kind. And that's like so true. And I read that and I was like, man, that, you know, that hits home because none of us are promised tomorrow. And, um, you know, we get caught up in fast pace of life and, you know, working. Nowadays to make a living, it takes the mom and the dad, which in my case, you know, I don't have a spouse or whatever. But I mean, in that aspect of the world that do have that it takes both sides of the family so it's like you know you're juggling everything and then in my case i'm extra juggling here extra juggling for myself and my kids but life is very short very very short and a lot of times we get focused on i gotta do this and i gotta do this and i gotta pay this bill and i gotta pay that bill and don't get me wrong it's good to have you know that you know prospect of you know having a good work life and like paying your bills on time i'm not saying that but like at the same time we can't take none of that with us when we die none of it all the stuff that we've worked for all of like our cars our homes you know whatever swimming pools whatever you might have that's you know that are materialistic things we can't take none of that none of it so we need to always, and Lord, please remind me to stay humble and, and like, when I'm going through a hard, see, I'm God speaking to myself right now too with this, um, always be remindful that we're not here forever and we need to love big, we need to love hard and we need to like do all we can for everybody because you never know 
who you face that's going through a hard storm in life, that one simple kind word or opening the door for somebody and smiling at them or just like showing some type of kindness, you never know how much that could help someone. And you never know that like they could be at like the end of their ropes or whatever. Um, so, you know, we just gotta stay strong, hang in there for each other, pray for each other. Um, I just know that for me, like here lately, it's kind of been like a storm for me with stuff, just like battling with things and like praying and, and, and like just, you know, we, we get, our hearts get heavy and it's life, but you know, we're not supposed to bear all that load, but honey, I'm an overthinker with everything. And, you know, not having like my mom or like my dad, my mama or people like that around, it, it's harder for me to like, you know, but I've learned how to deal with it. But there's times in your life when it's just like, you know, you just think, and I, I think all the time. So anyways, I will try to post that thing when I upload this or whatever, but love you guys. Hope everybody's doing good. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.